Hi there! The world's first icebreaker appeared in the 18th century. It was a very large ship capable of breaking ice in the harbor of Philadelphia. It has been a long time since the wheel was replaced by a turbine, and then a powerful nuclear reactor appeared. Nowadays, huge icebreakers break into the Arctic ice with huge power, and today, we will tell you about the largest nuclear icebreakers in the world. Snow Dragon 2 was designed in Finland and is the first Chinese-made icebreaker. The icebreaker is equipped with equipment for marine research and observation. Specifications allow you to complete a full turn around its axis with both stern and bow and move at the same time with a speed of 3 knots with an ice thickness of up to 5 feet. This icebreaker is capable of carrying 4,500 tons of cargo on board and the maximum speed is about 15 knots. This ship has a cruising range of 20,000 nautical miles and is capable of being at sea autonomously for 60 days. The displacement of the icebreaker is 21,000 tons, hull length is 548 feet, the width is 72 feet, and the crew can be up to 90 people. A cargo crane has been installed on the vessel for efficient cargo handling. The icebreaker also has a helipad and a hangar for two helicopters. Thanks to the latest icebreaker Snow Dragon 2, scientists can be transported to the polar regions and vice versa, and research can be carried out directly on board the vessel. It has the most advanced research equipment, including tools for conducting geological, geophysical, biological, and environmental studies. Louise S. Saint Laurent is the largest icebreaker ship in the Canadian Coast Guard fleet. With a length of 393 feet and displacement of more than 15,000 tons. It is a world-class icebreaker and a polar research vessel. Laurent was conceived and built in the 60s and then significantly reconstructed in the 90s, as a result of which its hull was lengthened and new power and navigation equipment was installed. The ship has five diesel engines that can develop power up to 30,000 horsepower. Louis Saint Laurent uses an average of 15,000 horsepower. The ship carries two helicopters for ice reconnaissance and scientific support. The current pace of the ship's operation consists of summer trips to the Canadian Arctic, where it supports annual Arctic maritime transport for various coastal communities and conducts multidisciplinary scientific expeditions. During the winter months, Louis Saint Laurent works at the Gulf of Saint Lawrence to assist ships in transport in Montreal, Quebec. Over the years, Louis Saint Laurent has also consistently provided reliable escort and replenishment services in isolated communities and commercial operations in the Arctic. Healy is the largest icebreaker in the United States, on which the Americans for the first time independently reached the North Pole. In addition to performing Coast Guard tasks, the Healy Icebreaker is also officially the lead vessel for civilian scientific research and oceanographic expeditions, for which there are scientific equipment, laboratories, and special equipment on board the icebreaker, including bottom sonars, diving equipment, and a helicopter. Healy employs 140 people, including 35 civilian scientists. The icebreaker has a displacement of 16,000 tons. A propulsion system with a capacity of 30,000 horsepower allows you to reach speeds up to 17 knots. Healy is capable of breaking ice up to 5 feet thick and pushing ice with battering rams up to 8.5 feet thick. Icebreaker Yamal, one of the most powerful ships in the world, equipped with sophisticated modern equipment. This ship is able to overcome the thickest and strongest ice. This amazing ship combines the power of technology and comfortable living conditions. The vessel has a double hull made of steel. At the site of the collision with ice, the outer hull has an ice belt 16 feet high and 1.89 inches thick. In other places, the thickness of the outer casing is about 1 inch. The hull is divided into 8 waterproof compartments. This ship can crack ice moving forward and backward. The Yamal Icebreaker is designed to overcome 8 feet of ice at a steady speed of 2 knots. The speed carries one helicopter and several boats. The length of the vessel is 486 feet. Displacement 23,000 tons. Power plant capacity 70,000 horsepower. 
Maximum speed, 21 knots. One charge of nuclear fuel lasts for five years of service. The ship has 150 crew members aboard. There are 50 cabins on board for comfortable accommodation of passengers. All cabins with necessary amenities, large portholes, desks, televisions. Also on the icebreaker, there is a restaurant that could accommodate all passengers, a cinema, lecture hall, a basketball court, a gym, a sauna, and a swimming pool with heated seawater. The ship is equipped with the latest satellite navigation system and modern communications. The ship also has a good library and a small medical hospital. Yamal is easy to recognize from afar. It stands out from the rest of the icebreakers with a wide shark smile painted on its nose. The icebreaker SA Agulas II is classified as a cruise ship as it is equipped with some basic amenities such as housing, a library, a gym, as well as a small hospital. The ship has cabins, a relaxation room for five officers and two passengers, single cabins for nine officers and eight passengers, double cabins that can accommodate 40 passengers, a dining room, smoking rooms, pantries, a conference room, a cinema, a business center with 10 computer terminals, left luggage offices, and laundry room with dryers. SA Agulas II was built primarily for research and expeditions and is currently used to transport scientists and equipment from the South African National Antarctic Program. The ship can be at sea for several months and scientists can continue their marine research on board as the ship will operate as a mobile laboratory. It collects and transmits meteorological data for use by meteorological institutes around the world. It is also equipped with a helicopter deck capable of accommodating two helicopters. The ship is equipped with two fully integrated navigation systems and six widescreen navigation workstations and is capable of performing all marine radar functions. The dynamic positioning system allows the vessel to perform the most accurate operations on ice fields. The ice radar, thanks to its ice visualization capabilities, helps the ship find the best accessible route through ice water. This reduces fuel consumption and risk of damage to the housing. The ship has a special communication system that allows you to effectively transmit observations to the global telecommunication system. The vessel is equipped with four six-cylinder inline engines, which allows it to reach a maximum speed of 16 knots and an operating speed of 14 knots. The Icebreaker 50 Years of Victory is considered the most modern and largest vessel. It stands out against the white background of Arctic ice and snow with a vivid view. Its body is painted black and the superstructure is painted red-orange. This is to ensure that the icebreaker is visible from afar in the vast expanse of the north. The nuclear-powered icebreaker has a double hull, the thickness of the bow which takes the first blow from a collision with the ice 1.9 inches, the rest is 1.3 inches. The nose shape of the atomic icebreaker is different from other models. It has a spoon shape, due to which a greater passability effect is achieved in a collision with the ice. This allows it to better and faster perform the functions of icebreaking. The nuclear icebreaker 50 years of victory has the highest power. In addition to two nuclear reactors, turbine plants are located on it. The power of the engine is 75,000 horsepower. This icebreaker is capable of overcoming ice jams up to 10 feet thick. Its main purpose is to escort transport ships with cargo along the northern sea route. In addition to this task, 50 years of victory will contribute to the extraction of mineral resources on the Arctic shelf and help scientists in research work. In addition to working flights, the icebreaker makes tourist cruises to exotic places. The internal atmosphere of the ship is very comfortable. It has an excellent kitchen with a spacious dining room, two bars and saunas, a gym, a library, a room for disco which allows tourists to feel comfortable on board. 50 years of victory can reach speeds up to 25 miles per hour. For a ship with a displacement of 25,000 tons, this is a good result. The icebreaker is equipped with a modern digital automatic control system. Navigation radio communications and various satellite installations help the ship confidently plot heading, as well as provide good communication with large land. The ship also has a helipad. Given the equipment of the icebreaker with nuclear reactors, much attention is paid to safety issues on the ship. 
At the nuclear-powered ship, there is a recycling chamber. Devices for collecting and processing waste from the icebreaker are installed here, thereby leveling their emissions into the environment. And that's all for today. Put like if you like this video and write in the comments what other huge ships or icebreakers you know of. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.